Ooh. Ah. Mm. Hey, what's up guys? Scotty J here, back again with some more Sacred Stones. Now, in our last episode, we had a slight fever dream, and we're actually Ephraim for a split second. And we took over a whole castle! That was pretty cool. However, last we checked with him, he was being chased off by that vaulter. So we'll see what's happening there. In the meantime, we're back as Erica! Yay! Crossing into the Grado border. Now, before we get too far, I actually want to do a little bit of item management. Very fun and exciting. So let us toss the guiding ring over to the supply, and we will trade Colm the torch, for reasons we'll talk about later. Let's see, um, oh, secret book, and the dragon shield we can also send over to, and we'll trade Joshua a vulnerary, just to keep him all up and rocking. We'll also send this dragon shield over to supply. I haven't quite decided who I want to use this run yet, so keeping our options open for now. Oh, Seth has a javelin. Let's get that over to Franz. Nice. Let's see. Ross is looking good. Yeah, I think everyone's looking pretty good. We'll trade our heal staff over to Natasha, just so she doesn't always have to use mend. And we'll swap Molinaries out for fun. Let's see. I think it's all we want to do here. I, since we're already at the shop, want to pick up another round of tomes for everybody and then get Natasha a torch staff. Bye. Torch. Yes. Thank you. Oop. I always hit B a little fast. Alright. A lightning tome for Arthur. Magic tomes don't have a ton of uses, and since a lot of mages will double, you tend to burn through them quite quickly. So I like to pick them up when we can. Without having to backtrack so much. And then... Is there a good sword for Joshua to pick up? Oh yeah, look at that. Let's just get him... Let's look. Weight is 10, weight is 5. Let's quick check stats. So Joshua's got, okay, he's got a con of 8. So he'd take a 2 point speed penalty from using a steel sword. Which he can probably still afford. Uh, for some nerd numbers for you quick. Uh, if you take an item's weight minus your build or your constitution, that will tell you how much, uh, you know, like what your penalties for using this weapon. So Joshua using a 10 weight sword with his 8 con will lose two speed for using it. But it hits, how much harder? Like three points harder than the iron sword. And Joshua's strength isn't amazing, so it's not bad to have on him. Anyway, let's continue on to the Adalas Plains. Erica suppresses her feelings of unease and continues to search for her brother. Passing through Seraphew, the group crosses into the Grado Empire. Ooh. From here forward, there is no doubt that they are walking through hostile territory. In hopes of avoiding unnecessary trouble, Erica and company head for a sparsely populated region of Grado. However, it is too late. Their movements are already being tracked. Oh no! Chapter 6, Victims of War. So, tell me. You have ascertained Erica's whereabouts, have you not? I have. I sent some of our men to follow the princess as she fled Seraphew. They tell me Erica and her friends will be coming this way shortly. Our ambush is ready and waiting. There's no way they can escape. Like rats in a sack, as they say. <laughs> Very good. Won't that wretched Valter be delighted? Now, this Princess Erica, I hear she is quite a handful. They say her paladin withstood Walter's lance, if you know what I mean. Tell me, Novala, are you certain you can handle this assignment? Oh, don't worry. Everything is under control. I've brought along a certain something from Reneus. It will negate whatever futile resistance they offer. Ha, ha, ha. Hmm, something from Reneus, he says. Hehehehe! <laughs> Braid goes as you say. Very well, do what you must. I must return to the capital. Will you not stay and see how Erica looks in captivity? Unlike two other layabouts I know, I do not have such time to waste. I have much to do for our master. A mountain of tasks awaits me. My time is far too precious to, wait, to waste on the likes of that royal whelp. 
trifles such as these are best left in the hands of servants such as you. Y yes, of course. Then travel well. Hmm. Freakish old man. You should have watched. You might have learned something. I will capture the princess, and I will replace you at our master's side. You will stew in regret, and I will enjoy every moment. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, snap! There he is! Oh, this, oh there's a green child with him! Ha, ha, ha. Princess Erica of Reneus. Accept your fate. You have nowhere to flee. What? Who are you? And where... Where did you come from? You are as beautiful as I'd heard. Oh, and you're wearing your bracelet. I suppose we should begin there. Would you surrender your lovely trinket? Ah, my bracelet? Why do you want it? His majesty does desire it. That's reason enough. Once I present it to him, he'll make me a general and I will be famous. Come, hand it over. Do it quickly and I'll leave you alive. Princess Erica, you will do no such thing. Of course not. Obedience will save you pain. You came all this way to aid Prince Ephraim, have you not? A oh, fool's errand. Ephraim fell before the Empire's might. Oh no. As we speak, he wastes away in a cell in Renval, meekly awaiting his execution. My brother? You lie. A pitiful worm like you could never defeat my brother. Bah. Protest all you like. It does not change the truth. Ephraim has lost. And it was Grado that defeated him. Hmm. You're not going to acquiesce, are you? Very well. Bring me the child. H help me. Ah! Look familiar. She's a citizen of your precious Reneus. <laughs> no, of course she doesn't look familiar. You grab some kid from the... <sighs> Whatever. Erica's gonna go, oh yes, that's that kid from that random village I've been to before. Like, my guy, you could have grabbed any kid and Erica would still just do whatever you want at this point. Anyway. Now give me the bracelet. Do it or the child dies. No, please. Oh, you win. But I must have your word, the child will suffer no harm. Princess, wait, that bracelet. It's not worth a child's life. Forgive me, Seth. Yes. There can be no mistaking it. Next, your weapons. Take them off and hand them over. No. Surrendering our weapons would be tantamount to suicide. You demand too much from us. I see years of peace and idleness have not dulled the wits of all Reneus knights. Well, then my hostage has no more use to me, does she? Ah, such a waste. Wait a moment. I've just had a delicious idea. Have you heard of the giant spiders prowling around this region? They'd appreciate a nice hot meal, wouldn't they? You can't. No! <laughs> this will be a delight to watch. Here, fool. These fools will curse the day they were born in Reneus. Why? Why would you? How can you do such a thing? This is war. There are no rules here. In war, you can do anything. Anything. You curs of Reneus have lost. Your idiotic ravings mean nothing. Enough! Hold your tongue! What? I... We the people of Reneus have long honored our allegiance to the Grado Empire. And you invaded without warning. You ravaged our land and you killed my father. Even then, I told myself I must not hate Grado or her people. If I gave in to my hate, the bond between our lands would be lost forever. I refuse to hate. Instead, I live for the day our nations can know peace again. But... If this is Grado's true face... If you can extinguish Reneus without pity, without remorse? If this is the case, then there's no room in my heart for forgiveness. Impudent girl! Do you expect your words to save your countrymen? They will not. Your beloved people will all die, as will you. Oh no! <laughs> oh, if you must curse someone, curse your dear princess. Help someone! Cry! Scream! <laughs> he is, like, absolutely getting all excited about this. Are we gonna get eaten? Oh, we're gonna be fine. Someone will rescue us. Hmm. Welp. And now, for a brief break with Ross. Wow! Would you look at these muscles? 
I had no idea how much stronger I'd gotten. Why, I bet I could take on just my dad or just about anyone. I knew if I worked at it, I'd be a great warrior. Yay. Now he can either be a fighter, like his dad, or we can be a pirate. I, Ross, be a pirate now. Come along, Ross. Join the pirate crew. Ba ba. A. Nice. A class change for Ross. Sweet. Now Ross is a pirate. That's pretty hype. I'm excited. All right. So we're gonna drop off these two. Grab Calm. Grab Joshua. And I think that is a fair group for this map. Let's ch 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 check it out. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that whole map covered in fog. So, we have our Renee's friends over here. So we need to finish the map before something comes to finish them. It's over here somewhere. Very spooky. The boss in question is over here, so we'll just need to get to him. And if I recall, the objective here is to defeat the boss. There is also a lovely, lovely town we can visit. So we'll probably send our more mobile units that way. Or we could just send Seth. Undecided still. Let's see. We'll kind of put Ross up here. And I think we'll get rolling. Are we ready? Slick. Let's save. And let's get to it. Clear phase. All right. So first, since Colm is here, we're going to pop him on one of these woods. And we will use this torch. Now, Colm being a thief can naturally see pretty far, and a torch on him lets us open up the map quite a bit. So this is much more what we're stepping into. Hey, very handy. Also very spooky. Hey, there's an elixir. Iron bow. Ooh, a halberdier. That's terrifying. So those are effective weapons, so that's good against calf units. Spoopy. Uh, javelin, iron lance. Poison axe, rude. Iron blade, iron lance. Cool, cool, cool. Well, all right, let's get to it. So, well, Franz and Vanessa kind of start heading this way. I think Vanessa could even kind of corral that guy on over. Sweet. And now, everybody else, we're heading this way. Let's get Ross the boss ready and set for action. Kind of run his hatchet down a little longer. And then we'll kind of try to use the forest here to our advantage. Try to fight him over here so we don't eat as many attacks uh, in the face. And loot. Pop Natasha behind, and we're good to go. All right, off we go. Oh, no. And, ah, we ate the three. But we'll swing back for six. Oh, we don't double. Goodness. Not very fast, are we? Another soldier. That's all right. Sweet. Well, we shall have... Oh, and then every turn looks like the torch kind of drops by a round of spaces, so the fog rolls back in. Let's see. We'll start with having Franz use a javelin here. Nice. That'll help. Sweet. 12 damage. So then Vanessa can take this guy out. We'll just have Seth go get the village. Vanessa swings! Excellent work, Vanessa. Ba -ba 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 -da 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 -da. And then Seth will reclaim this. I heard there are monstrous spiders living in the mountains to the east. They said to be poisonous, so I stocked them on antitoxins. This antitoxin strong stuff. No need to worry about poison with this around. Hey, why don't you go ahead and take one? Go on, you may need it. They might still eat you, but at least they won't be able to poison you. This kid, he gets it. One hell of a salesman, that kid. Sweet. All right. Let us. Hmm. Ross, what's your defense like right now? Nine. All right, Ross. I believe in you. This can only go well. Probably. <laughs> we'll set up Josh Alicious over here. With his steel sword. Kind of have loot go back him up. We'll put Erica right here. I don't know, make like a little wall and hope nothing bad happens. We'll move Colm up here. 
All right, let's see what happens. Wall of death! Yay, we dodged. Hatchet. Hatchet! Nice work. Come on, Ross. Pirate Ross now. Yar, he be Ross. Yar, his weapon level went up. All right, this soldier's gonna go after Joshua. Joshua dodges. Steel sword. Nice. Good job, Josh. Do, 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 do. Oof. Axe man. That's no. Oh, and it's a steel axe. Ow! We ate all of that. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sword man. Oh, that's a spearman. Spearman, what are you going to do next? Hey, we dodged that one. Okay, they dodged that one too. That's fair. That You know, that happens. All right, Spearman. Be cool. Be cool. Oh, 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 oh. oh that was really close. Thanks for being cool. Uh, so yeah, Fog's a little terrifying like that. A little group of horses coming on down. Okay. Well, that's spooky. So, let us... Throw Vanessa over here. She can javelin this guy to take him out. And then we can have Franz handle the fighter. Probably have Seth pull back as well. Oh, wow! Look at that level up. Skill, speed, luck, defense, and res. Way to have a near-death near experience, Vanessa. It seemed to have paid off well. Alright, Franz will finish this guy off. Good job, Franz. Alright, level 8. HP, skill, speed. Not bad at all. Hey, and our sword rank went up. Good job. Alright, let's get Seth. Let me just pull Seth back up this way. What are you guys equipped with? Iron sword, iron blade. Nice. Alright, well, we shall use magic to take these fools out. Go, Luke, go. Have Archer take this guy out. Nice. Let's see. Hey, you got the Iron Blade. Neato. We'll set Erica up on this forest here. Equip her PRF just so she can deal extra damage. That should be okay. We'll have Natasha move down here. Heal up. Vanessa, who is bleeding profusely. Hopefully everything's going to be okay. Oh, goodness, we didn't even fully heal her. Oopsies. All right. Uh, and then we'll set Ross on this fort here to try to pull a couple of those guys on in. Let's see. Put Josh here so this guy can't just attack Arter. Move Colm on down. Oh, there are knights there? Goodness gracious. All right. Quite the enemy spawns we have today. Go, Ross, go. Yay, Ross. Mm -mm -mm. This guy's gonna go for Ross, too. Poison Axe. Hey, good dodge. Ah, uh, not quite enough damage from Ross, though. Uh, okay, we didn't even double anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, first calf for Erica. Dodge? Did not dodge on a 26! Oh my goodness! Okay, okay. HP, strength, speed, luck. Alright, come on, Erica. I'm gonna need you to dodge this next one. Oh! Goodness! Say, so what is today with these stray hits just dealing insane damage? Oh, yeah, yeah! Okay. A lance for Josh. Not cool, man. Not cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. So as you can see, this map steps up in difficulty just a little bit. But it's mostly just fog and then all the hordes of enemies. Versus in other maps, I feel like we can kind of pick off and choose guys a bit more. But in this one, they definitely definitely rush at you a bit. Oh, come on, Ross. I mean, a point of speed's nice and all, but we could do better. And a bowman. Hello, bowman. A hatchet. Ah, not twice. Man. Well, okay. And a healer. Poor healer. wonder if the healer would heal Erica. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Alright. We'll have this one mend Erica up. A 
Pee-wee. All right. Just have Erica take out the poor healer. Sorry, poor healer. Excellent. All right. Fire! Fire! Good work with fire. All right, that one's taken care of. We shall. Hmm. Oh, we die horribly. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Franz, you want to take this one out? Well, where can Archer get? Okay, Archer cannot reach the second one, sadly. So let's have Joshua move. Let's just have Joshua take this one out. Go, Josh, go. Thanks, buddy. And now he's on a mountain, so his evade should be pretty good. HP, skill, defense, res. Not bad. Let's see. Ross can take this one out here. Good job, Ross. Alright, light magic this other guy. Hey, nice. Shred that man. Sorry, dude. Magic! Coolio. And now we've got to watch Mr. Hellbeard's range. So try to keep Franz and Co. out of it. But we'll try to pull this guy on over here. Oh, well, we could javelin him for fun. Get him! And a second throw. Go range again. We'll put Seth with him. And it's probably cool to let Colm hang out here. Let's use a torch again. Just to get a good view of what's going on. See what else we can find out there. Okay, so there is a shaman, soldier, healer, axe fighter. Not too much else on the map, though, so that's good at least. Let's put you right there, and we will end turn. Come here, you. Good dodge. Tron's delicious death. Ah, oh, nice. Soldier going for Franz, too. Ah, uh, he's gonna eat the five, but that's okay. Wow, and missed with the javelin. Yikes. All right, all right. We'll let Vanessa pick that one off. Here comes the fighter. He's going for Ross. Ross dodges. Ross swings back with the axe. Oh, and he doubles. Get out of here. Good job, Ross. Good job. All right, Ross. Let's go better than one speed, okay? HP, defense, res. Ah, oh, res is interesting. We'll take that. And we got an iron axe for our troubles. Uh oh. Flukes. He be flukesin'. Ooh, I think that's actually our first experience with dark magic, maybe? It's pretty spoopy. But I like it. Alright. Now then, let's keep on moving. So we'll have Vanessa take this one out. Vanessa will attempt to take this one out. Ah, oh, rats, not enough. Okay, well, we'll let her... Can you take the healer out? You can start. Poor Vanessa. Let's see here. Oh, we'll let Archer do it. Duh. He's the light mage. Go, Archer, go. Nice. Flukes in response. And. Get him! Nice. Level 5. HP, speed, defense, res. Nice! Defense on Archer. That's something you don't see every day. Alright, we'll let Franz finish this guy off. Just use a sword, why not? Sorry, healer man. Apologies to you. Seth can push ahead, because he can pretty much eat anything that's waiting for us, if needed. I really don't want us to see what's up there. Come along, Colm. There they are. So it's the soldier, the boss, and a thunder mage. Very fun. Very exciting. Woo. 
Uh, we'll let Rawls take this guy on out. And move the rest of the crew towards the boss. Alright. Loot. Come along. Joshi. Here, we'll get Natasha some cheeky healing. And then Josh can run ahead. Nice. Mm -hmm. And Eric can make the long climb over the mountains, I guess. Alright, what will you guys do? Soldier comes at Seth. Interesting maneuver. Prepare to eat Seth's sword to the face. Nice work, Seth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, mage goes after Colm. How dare you, sir? Oh, nice dodge, Colm. Very extra, but very helpful. What will our Drew? Okay, so he doesn't move. It looks like that helps. That helps a lot. All right, Luke, you want a magic battle? <gasps> magic battle! Doom, 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 Magic battle! Doom, 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 doom. Level up for Luke. All right, HP lock res. Not bad, not bad. Not the most superior thing I've seen you do today, but you know, whatever. Let's see here. Hmm. Mr. Boss Man, how much damage do you deal? 11. Das, pretty good. Seth, I'm assuming you just wander around this guy, right? Oh, yes. We, we crunch him pretty good. Aw, oh, Franz can't reach. Uh... Not great, not great. Hmm. We shall... We'll let Archer take out this guy. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, I'll just put Archer so, like, have Archer fight him a little. Dodge? No dodge. Fight! Yay! Good fight. Alright. Yeah, it sounds like fun. We will have Vanessa rescue and wait. And then we will take and drop. Sweet. And we'll see how that goes, shall we? Kind of close in with everyone else as needed. Get Ross the boss on up here. Um, <laughs> Eric is crossing the mountains. Yeah, I guess that's fine for now. Okay, turn end. <gasps> spider, no! Eep, spider! No, go away! Please, someone help! All right, we gotta take this guy out now. No, it can't be. They've made it this far? Urgh, must I do everything myself? Hopefully not. All right, he's gonna deal seven. We're gonna say ow, and then respond to four. And four, okay. We accept four. Hey, weapon level increase. Nice. All right. Well, we gotta beat this guy now so that our friends don't get turned into lunch. That'd be bad, right? All right. Yeah, why not? Get her some EXP. Four. Dodge. I don't know. It's 69, though. Ah, nice. Okay. And then... Gosh, can you just take him out? Oh, we can. Excellent. Get him out of here. Yeah! Crit for the get out of here! Oh, is this the end? No fame? No glory? Correct. Little Pip Kid. Alright, and that is the map. Now, despite that giant spider being there, we actually don't need to fight it. So that's pretty cool. We just had to beat the boss, thank goodness. Da da da. You're safe now. Whoa! I was so scared! So very, very scared! Thank you. You saved us both. If you would like, please take this. And thank you again. Hey, we got an orange bolt. We use that to promote uh, archer units. Mm -mm. Alright, Seth. Tell Erica a story. Your late father, King Fado. He ordered me to keep silent until the proper time arrived. However, with all that's happened, with Empire of Iregard's action, I feel it impertinent to tell you everything, Princess Erica. 
Are you ready to hear the secret of your bracelet? I am. As you know, Princess, Renea's house is one of the legendary sacred stones. Of course, it's in the temple, and it's supposed to ward against evil. Yes, the true stone is. But the stone in the temple is nothing but a forgery. The real sacred stone of Renea's lies beneath the royal castle. Guarding it is a powerful seal of infinitely complex, an infinitely complex lock of sorts. What? Is this true? Yes, King Fado confided in me himself. The sacred stone banished evil long ago and possesses the power beyond our keen. The ancient kings of Renaeus felt it prudent to seal ours away. They feared its power could be misused, so they thought to remove the temptation. The keys to break the seal are hidden, forged into two bracelets. The very ones you and your brother, Prince Ephraim, wear. Our bracelets? How could Father keep this a secret from me for so long? They must know nothing of the bracelets. Tell them only if some great peril strikes. Your dad, probably. <laughs> These were King Fado's exact orders. Hmm. Prince Ephraim knows nothing of his bracelet secret either. The king told this, me this out of fear that something might happen to him. So then, when the time came, the two of you could learn the truth. The bracelets have such meaning. Yes. We are the only living souls who know the secret of the Stone of Reneus. At least, that's what I was given to believe. And yet... Yet the Greedo army has made it clear they only want me for my bracelet. Yes, quite clear at that. I don't know how Emperor Viagard managed to learn the secret somehow. And now his troops pursue the bracelet, and we are no closer to knowing his motives. He would use the bracelet to unlock the secret, sacred stone and destroy it in secret? Perhaps. Which means my brother and his bracelet. If he's been captured, they may have the bracelet already. And he may be... Ephraim. Princess, we must take Novell's words to be true. We must hurry to Prince Ephraim. Enemy soldiers who fled the battle now have reported our location. If the prince is being held prisoner in Renval, I fear they might ex execute him once they learn of our approach. You're right. We've no time to waste. We must hurry to Renval. Let's go rescue my brother. Well, all right. Whew, after that slightly nail-biting chapter, I think we're going to have to save and call it for now. But hey, thanks for hanging out today, guys. I hope you had fun. Until next time, this is Scotty J signing out. Bye bye